sagittal section of mediastinum it has a sternal plane sternal angle of lewis superior mediastinum inferior mediastinum has three parts anterior mediastinum pudendal mediastinum posterior mediastinum then again posterior mediastinum then esophagus from esophagus 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 lies in superior mediastinum between trachea anteriorly and t1 to e4 vertebra posteriorly it also lies in posterior mediastinum it passes through diaphragm at level of 10th vertebra through muscular opening level of trachea bifurcation between t4 t5 vertebra greater upper border of t5 lower border of t4 upper border of t6 trachea bifurcation between t4 t5 vertebra more chance upper border of t5 with next next lower border of t4 next upper border of t6 then t4 vertebra cadaveric deep inspiration t6 level of trachea bifurcation at deep inspiration t6 cadaveric t4 between t4 t5 and mostly arch of aorta it is present in superior mediastinum behind the manubrium bone it begins at right second costal cartilage it ends left second costal cartilage begins right second costal cartilage ends left second costal cartilage extent of heart in supine position t5 t8 vertebra in standing position t6 t9 vertebra t4 t5 vertebral level ct scan inferior view at level of t5 vertebra carina it is a cartilaginous spur at the bifurcation of trachea into right and left principal bronchi esophagus can be seen behind the trachea bronchi anteriorly and vertebra posteriorly pulmonary trunk can also be seen dividing into pulmonary arteries inferior view of ascending and descending aorta can also be seen phrenic nerve important topic phrenic nerve comes from cervical plexus its root value is c3 c4 c5 chief root value of phrenic nerve is c4 it runs anteriorly to scalenus anterior muscle it continues into thorax region and runs anteriorly to hilum of lung and on lateral side of pericardium to finally reach the diaphragm phrenic nerve is the only motor supplied to diaphragm phrenic nerve also sensory to mediastinal pleura pericardium central portion of diaphragm central portion of the peritoneum under central diaphragm therefore phrenic nerve can carry pain of pericarditis mediastinal pleuritis central peritonitis phrenic nerve can carry pain of pericarditis mediastinal pleuritis central peritonitis intercostal nerve carries sensations from periphery of diaphragm periphery of peritoneum costal and peripheral pleura right phrenic nerve is more vertical and shorter in length than left phrenic nerve because right dome of the diaphragm is pushed up higher due to liver left phrenic nerve is longer and more oblique than right phrenic nerve because it follows the left border of heart and also because of left dome of diaphragm is lower than right peripheral pleura costal pleura and peripheral diaphragm are supplied by intercostal nerve arterial supply of thorax descending thoracic aorta gives posterior intercostal arteries one in each intercostal space first and second pica arises from superior intercostal artery which itself arises from costo cervical trunk branch of second part of subclavian artery third to 12th pica arises from descending thoracic aorta venous drainage of thorax thorax drains into superior vena cava via azygous venous system on right azygous venu left side hemiazygous venu accessory hemiazygous venu hemiazygous venu drains lower intercostal spaces accessory hemiazygous venu drains upper intercostal spaces both hemiazygous vein and accessory hemiazygous vein drain into azygous vein azygous vein finally drains the blood of right and left thorax into superior vena cava at t4 vertebral level azygous vein system has connection with inferior vena cava and right and left renal veins